They're calling for war at the enemy's gates. Chinese protesters besiege the Japanese embassy in Beijing, angry over Japan's purchase of disputed islands. I want to call on everyone in China, the young people, to stand up and stand tall. Tell the Japanese that we cannot lose our Diaoyu Island, nor forget what has happened to our country in the past. It's a message the Chinese government seemed in no hurry to suppress. It hasn't officially endorsed the protests, but it also hasn't appealed for calm. And police are known to react much quicker when similar demonstrations happen over domestic issues. It's domestic issues that analysts say Chinese officials want to distract citizens from. There's been growing social unrest due to a widening wealth gap, economic troubles, and allegations of corruption amongst the ruling elite. Now, with a leadership transition just ahead, the last thing the ruling party needs is to be seen as weak, unstable, or divided. But Chinese officials are determined to show they have everything under control. And as far as they are concerned, a strong nation will not take what it sees as a violation of its sovereignty lightly. So though the Chinese government has said it wants a peaceful resolution, its people will continue to express their dissatisfaction any other way they can. Margot Digas, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.